Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And as promised, today we are opening a brand new product. This is 2022-23 Upper Deck Hockey Series 1, and it is the first time I'm opening the uh, brand new 2023 hockey product on the channel. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this. This is the Walmart exclusive package as well, where you get one oversized Young Guns card per box and uh, this box kind of weirdly beat up so i'm hoping the young guns card did not suffer in uh in the transit of this box i picked it up at the local walmart and it was the nicest looking box on the shelf the other ones actually had had been sort of crushed this one's just got a sort of a dent in it at the top the other ones actually were much worse off than this you get eight cards per pack and six packs per box and uh hoping that we get uh some some nice inserts you can get uh, upper deck canvas you can get uh, regular sized young guns and such so uh, we'll get out mr kershaw and get into this hope you guys had a great weekend and uh, enjoyed yourself and for those of you watching in the u.s it is president's day so happy president's day to you hope you have the day off like most people do as always practice good knife safety and keep those blades out of the reach of small children and presidents for sure get in here and see what we have. If you're not in the U.S., then I hope you're having a happy Monday. It's probably not a holiday for you, but a good start of the week, no matter where you may be today. All right, let's see what we have in here. Looks like the Young Guns card was on the other side of the box from where the, uh, the dent happened there, so that is fortunate. We see our packs in here, as promised. Let's see what our Young Guns card is. It is a Sabres card, so I know some of you will be excited about that. It's Owen Power. I'm actually pretty excited about that one. I like Owen Power, and I like his name, too. It's a great name for a uh, hockey player. Owen Power! 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 I like that one. We'll put that one in the back. I uh, I took, you guys will notice, I took out a lot of the cards that I had in the back here because I was sorting some cards over the weekend, and they kept falling down, and I didn't want them to get damaged, so I, I have moved them off to the side for the time being, but... Uh, I suspect they will come back soon enough. And uh, as promised, we've got six packs here, eight cards per pack. Uh, I'm not gonna really mix these up. I think I'm just gonna leave them in the order that they are. Let's see how we do with that. And our first pack starts us off with a sideways card of Lawson Kraus. There, check that out. That is not in focus, so I apologize. There we go, now we got it in focus, very good. All right, so uh, this is the first look, look that I've had at the new 2023 cards, and I like the uh, I kind I like this sort of silver sort of thing here. But the one thing I noticed that is missing from the front of the cards is there is no uh, signifier of which team the player is on or uh, which position they play, and I really don't like it when they do that. I also think the names are a little too small. On the back, you can see he's a left wing, and if you look here, you can see he's with the Coyotes, but uh, you don't don't really see that on the front, and uh, for me, that's kind of uh, a poor card design, in my opinion, but uh, I don't know, I uh, I guess I get used to it. It's, it's awfully small, though. It reminds me of 2021 Tops and how small those cards were. Man, the print on those cards were terrible. Ilya Suryokin right there, and uh, we go to the uh, usual format for cards here with Joel Farabee from Philadelphia. Wow, Garnett Hathaway is pissed. He is pissed about something. I don't know what, but man, I, I do not want to be on the other end of that. Whatever has caused him to be so upset. That is some serious anger from Garnett Hathaway. He might need to go to some sort of a course about that or something. I mean, that is that is harsh right there. Brandon Hagel and we got uh, Jake Gunsel from Pittsburgh. Another sideways card, Alex Ovechkin. All right, well, how about that? First pack, we get one of the biggest superstars in the NHL. That is a, a very nice one. We'll certainly put that over in the Wolf Lair. Nice pull there. And Nico Hershier from the Devils finishes off that pack. So we'll go into our second pack now. Not too bad. I mean, uh, no inserts out of that, though. And that's the problem with... Upper Deck Series 1, 2, or whatever the series is. You got those base set packs. I mean, we're lucky to pull the Ovechkin out of there, but uh, usually not particularly happy with those base set packs. So hopefully we'll start getting some inserts here. Jake Muzin from uh, Toronto starts this pack off for us. And then Drew Darty or Doty. Jack Eichel. 
there and Clayton Keller. We got uh, Niels Hoglander from the Sharks and Drake Batherson. We got uh, Jason Robertson looking pretty happy there out on the ice and Cal Peterson finishes off our second pack and both have been base set packs so I'm pretty annoyed with Upper Deck at this point. I mean I expect four inserts out of these next four packs or Upper Deck's getting a nasty letter from Cardwolf. Let me tell you something that is no way no way to pack your product for general consumption. That is not how it should be. Connor McDavid starts this one off. That's a pretty nice card there. Happy to get that. Another superstar in the NHL. You can see him looking up probably at the replay or the scoreboard. I'm not sure what but uh, that one could certainly go in the wolf lair. Alex Debrincat there from uh, Chicago. Nico Dawes also from New Jersey. And we got a sideways card there of Morgan Riley from Toronto. And a Young Guns card. Finally, we get uh, some kind of an insert here. It is Matty Beaners or Benny Ayers. Matty Benny Ayers, and he's from the Kraken. And uh, that's a pretty good pull. Happy with that one. Brock Nelson behind him and Cole Sillinger and we finish off with Tony D'Angelo blocking a shot there raising his stick not quite high enough to get penalized but uh, awfully high Let's see what we have here in this pack I expect more inserts upper deck I'm telling you you're gonna get a nasty letter Cam Fowler starts things off there and he's uh, looking down at the puck in sort of a pensive manner do I really want to hit this puck what did it do to deserve that and we got uh, Jordan Bennington, good goalie there for the Blues, Neil Poink. And uh, we got a canvas card. That's pretty sweet. Tom Wilson from the Caps is the canvas card. Let's see what the back of these look like. Pretty nice. Pretty nice overall uh, format there. I like that. Nice canvas card there. So we get our second insert, Jake Evans and Adam Enrique. Followed by Kyle Ocposo and Kyle Connor. Two Kyles in a row there finishes off that pack. We get to our penultimate pack here in this uh, first box of Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey from 2023 that we are opening. And we are greeted by Nathan, Nathan Bastion looking like he's pretty pissed off too. A lot of these hockey players, man, some anger management issues. I don't know, maybe he's happy. Think he's mad or do you think he's happy? I can't really tell with Mr. Bastion there. I'm not sure. I don't know. Daniel Sprong. And then we got uh, Matt Grizelik, Alexander Barkov, and Brayton Point. That is a checklist card, and that's kind of like an insert, but not really. We do get an insert behind it, though. It's Defense Mechanism, Travis Sonheim from the Flyers. That's a weird card. Check that out. I like the foily action, but... Uh, it's like we're seeing parallel realities of the same player or something. That is a weird card. I'm not quite sure what uh, what they're trying to do with that weird sort of image treatment that they're doing with that. So anyway, defense mechanism, uh, I don't know. Weird uh, design there. Kind of a pretty card, kind of confusing too. Josh Bailey, who looks confused about that card, much as I feel. Josh Bailey there looking a little confused. Sideways card of Capo Kakonen. The goalie for the Sharks and Alex Nijokovic from Detroit. A couple of goalies finish off that pack. We got one pack left. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic here. That's what I am hoping for. I'd like to get another Young Guns card. That would certainly make me happy. Those first two packs did not. We start off with Tyler Myers there. Get that in focus for you so you can check out Tyler. Uh huh. Camera just does not want to put it in focus. There we go. Tyler Myers for you. Starts off this last pack. And then Ryan Hartman. We got uh, Michael Matheson from the Penguins. And a nice Dazzlers card. That's good. So the last four packs, as I requested, we did get inserts in every pack. Alex Killorn there from the Lightning is the Dazzler card. That one's pretty good. Probably Wolf Lair that one too. Tanner Pearson. And we got uh, Yuyahar Karia. And then Martin Negus and uh, Darnell Nurse from the Oilers. So that finishes that one off for us. As I said, I mean, I'm a little bit nonplussed by the design. I want to see the, uh, the team and the position listed on the front of the card, and they don't do that. Also very confused about what the uh, graphical choice is for this defense mechanism card. I, I just don't know what they're going for there. It's, I mean... 
It's not an ugly card, but it is a confusing card for me. Of course, happy with the Young Guns and the Upper Deck Canvas. Always like those. In the Wolf Lair, we picked up three cards, so that's about one every two packs, which is not too bad. Ovechkin and Connor McDavid, two of the biggest stars in the NHL. And then, of course, our Dazzler card was Alex Killorn, the talented wing for the Lightning there, and that's completely out of focus, so that's not going to be exciting for anyone, not even somebody with bad vision like myself. There we go. All right, you can check out that dazzling, dazzler action there on that card. I didn't flip it over so you can see the back, but now you can. So uh, a few a few PC cards there and some nice inserts. Can't complain too much. Of course, we got the oversized Owen Power card, so that's pretty cool. Hope you guys are having a great Monday and that you enjoyed the break and that uh, you can tell me what you think of these cards. Always curious to know what your opinions are of the brand new product that we open here on the channel. We're going to have more brand new product later this week. I've got some Topps 2023 Series 1 baseball that we're going to be opening as well. I am looking very forward to that. It is not going to be a blaster box, no. It is not going to be a hobby box, no. It is going to be a jumbo hobby box. That's right. I've got a jumbo hobby box. I have been uh, looking very forward to opening. We're going to break that out. We'll either do it tomorrow or Thursday. I'll have to see. On you know, Wednesday is Pack Battle Day with Average Joe. And, of course, Friday is Dorking with Dice on Ice. That's right. You're going to get more hockey this week on Friday for sure. So stay tuned for that. We're going to open that uh, jumbo hobby box of uh, Topps Baseball. The reason I bought that is because it has a guaranteed autograph and two mem cards and the hobby, the regular hobby boxes, you get either one autograph or one mem card and you all know how that works out. So I decided to splurge for the hobby and I, hobby jumbo rather, and I think that was a good idea. You guys can look forward to seeing me delve into that and open it up. It's a ton of cards in there. I think it's over 400 cards in the jumbo box, so that'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll pull some good stuff there. I will see you back here on the channel tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday and a great rest of your President's Day if you are off here in the United States and enjoying your day off. Appreciate you coming by the channel, and as always, happy collecting.